What is up guys? Tempervoid here or Cody and today guys we are playing Fallout 4 again and we have our third video here and we just finished or, or wrapping up the quest of meeting Preston and all them and heading over to Sanctuary. So uh, I left the episode off here before talking to him. Yeah, I, I understand Preston. Feelings mutual. You can never have too many friends. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Well, you did. And we owe you our lives. So here, yeah. it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. All right, gives me some caps and some fusion you're cells. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since thank you, you sir. That, maybe you'll come to sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. I think I'm in. I'm All in, I Garvey. Can. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? Please tell me. I need to know. I'm just gonna be nice to her. Yeah, how would she know that? You know, maybe she's not as crazy as I think she is. The sun's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. Even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. Great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working for nothing. I need more. Kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. Let me jump. It's gonna Gosh, kill you. Preston, we're all gonna die eventually. <laughs> Mama Murphy! That's not how drugs work. You can't just justify drugs with we're all gonna die. I mean, I guess in the future, with the apocalypse, it's a little bit more plausible. But Mama Murphy, those chems aren't good. <laughs> Preston supporting her visions even though she was just like anybody I have an idea Sturgis you coming with us the sanctuary I had an idea okay all right so I'm actually I'm gonna fast travel back to sanctuary just because I'm lazy and I don't feel like walking with these people why should I why do I have to we have the option to fast travel, so let's do it. So we're gonna fast travel back to Sanctuary, and then from there, uh, I guess we're actually gonna start setting up Sanctuary, which is gonna be fun. <laughs> so yeah, um, I think for this part of the video with setting up Sanctuary, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna start just building up Sanctuary now. Uh, I'm just debating, cause like, I wanna I wanna establish Sanctuary. Like, that's the thing. I definitely wanna establish Sanctuary, but at the same time, I'm like, I, I wanna go do the rest of the game too. So, I think at this point, it's a matter of just uh, when I wanna do it. So I think I think we'll wait. We're gonna hold out on that. Um, let's see, so the armor should be in its slot now. Cool, cool. Cool, so we got the armor set up and stuff. Oh, I, I do have uh, a couple more mods I, I can point out here. I have the Darker Nights mod, which makes it a lot darker at night, or at least, you know, the mod might not be working. I know some of the mods I have probably won't be working properly, but these, these nights do look a, a tad bit darker than usual, so... I think it is working. And then I do have the flashlight mod, oh, like a proper flashlight mod. And then I have the beautiful, beautiful stars mod, which I am such a nerd for space. So this mod was kind of a must have for me, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So we have that. And I think other than that, there's not many more mods I can point out at the moment, but as they come, I will point them out. 
So let's take a seat. We're actually gonna wait because usually they take a while to walk over and stuff. Hopefully an hour was enough for them to get here. And let me heal real quick too because I just realized I am low on health. Yeah, here they are. They're all here now. Okay. Hey, good to see you again. I was hoping you. I should yep. have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah, I used to like living here. I used to like living here. Before the war. What do you mean? Before what war? Are you saying... Um... Yeah. Let's be nice. Explain it. 200 years ago. I was frozen or something. For most of it. Yep. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. No, not like one of the ghouls. I'm beautiful. Unlike them, they're irradiated and unfortunately very unattractive. But, you know, nuclear radiation is to blame. Hmm. My son. Somebody took him away while I was still trapped. I've been looking for him. Damn. Sorry. Damn. I hope you find him. Let me know if there's any way I can help. Anyway, I am glad you're here. I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favorite. What is it, Preston? I had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in their Miniman out there. Someone. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. The trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Mm -hmm. Think you could go help out with the settlement? I'd be glad to help. Yeah. That's fantastic. I know at first it's definitely essential to just do his quest because you get a ton of XP. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help And with early levels, it is important to get XP. Okay, um I want to level up. And I think should I do agility yet? I think I'm going to do stim packs for now because um, having medic to restore health more is going to be really crucial for, you know, such an early part of the game. So, all right, Mama Murphy here. Uh, where's, where's he at? Ah, Sturgis. Yeah, let's set up Sanctuary. I'd be glad. Well, for starters, we could use some real bad. Uh -huh. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Uh -huh. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Alright, thanks. Um, so, yeah. Let's start out by removing a lot of the stuff in the house here. I don't want to remove the whole house, which I, I can do if I wanted to, because the one mod I have allows the removal of a house. So I've got to be extra careful as not to do that because I can very much accidentally do so. It'll be bad if I do. Can I? Oh, I was gonna say, can I remove him? <laughs> okay, so let's delete all these chairs, these papers, that, that, um. Get rid of everything in the kitchen here, too. Lamp that. 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 Okay. Uh, I think that's everything I want to get rid of in here. Get rid of some of these papers and scrap and stuff. Okay, so cool. It looks a lot cleaner in here now. So tedious to remove the candles. Okay, that's part of the house. Um, sorry, dude. I'm gonna have to get rid of that chair. I guess I can when you're sitting on it. So thank you for that. All right. Well, I can't get rid of it when he's sitting on it. So when he decides he's done sitting on it, I will. Thank you. I, I genuinely appreciate you getting off that chair. Okay. Um, so, yeah. 
now we can do the essential task of setting up beds and we'll do the tiniest beds we can that way we can save a lot of space and resources as well we'll recycle the old bathroom here turn it into a bedroom same with over here actually we'll do it like this I will do two beds. All right, there we go. So we got four beds now, which, how many beds did we need to do? Data, first step, uh, five beds. Okay, so we're one short. I can do that, I can fix that. Do I have a moment? Yeah, hold on, uh, let me finish placing beds and then I can talk to you. Um. I can place it right there, right? In that corner. I was, I was just scared kind of to place a bed at a certain angle because I was scared that the settlers wouldn't be able to get inside. Yeah, what do you need, dude? Can we trade a few things? No, 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 I don't want to trade. Did I just take all his stuff? I... But even the hard days get easier than the one before. I feel bad for this guy. I know, like, he, I think he lost his kid or wife or something, too, so it's definitely sad. This game has a lot of emotional stuff in it, not gonna lie. I should have got rid of that. Okay, um, get rid of these tires. And this bush and that rubble. That's scrap. Cool. Okay. So now this place looks a lot more cleaned up already. Making progress. I like it. Um, I think I'm going to stop working at Sanctuary. Or no, I'm going to finish Sturge's quest. What am I doing? So what do we need to do for Sturge's quest now? Do I have to go talk to him? I gotta go talk to him. I gotta keep running back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, he's sleeping. Since, since he's sleeping, since everybody seems to be sleeping, I'm going to stop. And I'm just going to go on my merry way. So, oh jeez, I whipped out the minigun. Okay, uh, I don't want to have the minigun right now. I want to have my my pistol, I guess. Actually, is this a weapons work? Yes, it is. Okay, let me see. What kind of modifications can I make to the the pipe rice the pipe rifle? Hardened receiver will do plus three damage, which is going to be super helpful. We're doing a lot of damage. This is going to help with range. Uh, I don't want to use a sight on these because honestly, the sights are very. Put a bayonet on it. Why not? We can afford it. Standard stock magazine. Do a larger magazine too. Okay, cool. So now that we have a much better pipe rifle, hopefully we can make things work a lot more. All right, kill, 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 kill. So I think with that, uh, we're good in terms of what we want to do at Sanctuary. Besides, set everything up. So you know what? I'm gonna sit down. Which is going to be hard to do without a chair. So let me place a chair real quick. Place a chair down, take a seat. That way I can get all these people to spawn back in so I can talk to them. Uh, I want to do like a couch. Do I have a couch? I do have a couch. Do uh, right in front of the window there like that. An interior decorator. Okay, cool. So we'll sit and we're going to wait until the morning. That way everybody's awake and I don't have to worry about constantly waking Sturges up just to talk to him. Alright, eight hours should be plenty. It'll be nine something, I think. So. Alright, cool. So now that we are in this situation, we should be able to talk to Sturges without him being asleep. Don't take offense to 
Working through the loss in her own way. Oh, is is Marcy? Marcy's his wife, right? I think, or are they? I I've never really paid attention to their last names or if they're related at all. I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone. What yes. We need now is a reliable source of clean water. Okay, water pumps. I can do that. Uh, can I? There we go. Okay. And we will get to its resources water. Um, this needs power. It was probably a hundred times more reliable. A water purifier. We need a lake for that. Well, you know what? I think having a powered water pump is going to be really, really fun. So, yeah, we'll do a powered water pump. Why not? No, we don't want to use it. And, uh, hopefully I can build a... A generator. I should have actually checked. Oh, wait, I can. Okay, cool. <laughs> I was panicking there for a second. Do I have enough to build two? Because I think I might need two. Yeah, I need two. Shoot. Okay. Um, that's, that's fine. I can do that. go now we're pumping water all right Sturgis feel better already knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water yeah I we're pumping it right out of the earth asking for some more help but our food supplies are running low now if we're gonna settle here we need to get some crops established uh yeah I can I can plant planting right away good deal which I don't know what plants we should be planting or where because I know I usually just do it right behind this house, but honestly, it's not a very reliable spot to do so. Is there is there like a vegetable thingy, like a, like a tray you can put them in? They're not sure. Like a like a vegetable garden type thing. You know what I mean? Food. What is that? Miscellaneous. Like not a trough. What is the word I'm looking for? Like a, yeah, a garden plot. That's that's what I was thinking of. And I need fertilizer, which I don't have any fertilizer. So uh, I think that's where we're going to stop with Sturges. And I am going to head towards Diamond City for Mama Murphy's, kind of Mama Murphy's quest. So yeah, we're going to head towards uh, Diamond City now, which speaking of, let me quick save just to be safe. And we will head towards Diamond City. We will get everything we need. Hopefully find some fertilizer on the way. And then we can set up the, uh, the plots for our garden. And then, yeah, everything... Ooh! Oh, that scared me a little bit. All right. Everything should be set then for us to set everything up. I, I'm saying so much weird stuff. Like, I'm just kind of, like, rolling back on what I'm saying over and over again. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Okay. Uh, there's a safe down there. No way so, I oh, oh, it's advanced. Okay, yeah. Um, well, I guess we'll come back. We gotta remember. I, I gotta remember not to like destroy it or anything, because I will totally destroy it if I forget it's there. So, now, oh, whoa, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, no. The other quest we have to do is go to Templine's Buff. Ooh, Diamond City is really far. Okay, you know what? We'll actually... We're going to go to Templates Buff. And we will... Map. We're going to head over there and initiate that quest. That way we can get some XP, some loot. Uh, all right, we're close leveling up already too, so that's that's definitely good. So 
I want to get my level up nice and high as quick as possible so we can get better loot. You know, I got that high luck ratio going on right now. Everything will work out. And we got some mole rats. Okay. I think we're all good with the mole rats being dead. There's some guys up here. Are these raiders? Oh, it is a raider. All those raiders are D E D. That spells dead. Was this a little camp they had here? I think so. Alright, they killed a Brahmin. We're eating it. Uh, there he is. So, okay, I think I'm gonna <laughs> eventually go in and dial back the ammo mod I have because I just realized how much ammo I have. And it's kind of ridiculous. I already have so much ammo for like my 10 millimeter and I have so much pipe ammo and I don't want you know ammo to be something that we have an infinite amount of I don't want it to be something oh okay my game froze up there hopefully the recording's okay I, I don't want ammo to be something we you know need to str struggle for constantly because that's no fun that's just annoying okay um My sound is glitching out a little bit. I hope that doesn't have to do with the frame rate. Oh. Okay, I hope you guys can hear me. But the game just froze up a lot. That was a little scary. Oh. Okay. Every time I reload, this game's freezing. I don't get it. Fallout is a weird game sometimes. It does not want to work. I mean, it does want to work. Just not when you want it to work. It's always the, the opposite. All right. Don't want to go up there and mess around with those guys. Not yet, at least. Is that on its own? Usually they, they're in a pack. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Um, how close are we? No, we're close. I can see it on the radar now. Or the, the, the HUD. Okay. Don't hurt my dog. Nice job, dog meat. All right, and I can level up now too, so that is just dandy. So let's see, T level up, and I think uh, I want to be able to get gun mods like crazy because I want I want these guns to be powerful right off the bat. So we're gonna do gun mods, get them up high as soon as we physically can, and that's also the um, whole idea behind having the you know ability to pick up as much junk as we want. So I can just build like really crazy 
um, loot. And we should probably grab some tatoes and stuff because we're gonna need the tatoes to plant our own tatoes. Which it's great that friendly people let you farm from them because we need the food. We do. We exist. Well, we're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're, rebuilding we're good. From the ground up. We're the good guys. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raid against us for giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies. Threatening to kill us all if we don't own it. Well, that's awful. You know where from. Can't go up against the gang. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders. I'll take care of those raiders for you. Thanks. You folks are for real this time. You'll be along with you. I bet. I bet. Alright guys, so I'm actually going to end this episode here now, and I'll save it real quick. But, uh, yeah, this is probably the first episode we're ending on time. <laughs> but uh, I want to get into the habit of being able to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and comment your thoughts on the video. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and also hit that bell icon so you guys can be notified when I upload the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.